I'm at the Victorian Caravan Camping and Touring Super Show. It is back this year at the Melbourne Showgrounds and it is looking fantastic. This show is tipped to be the biggest one in many, many years. So let's go check out what's new. Well, here's the first stand as I've walked in through the gate. It's Lumberjack Camper Trailers. And I'll tell you what, this is a company that just seems to be going on to bigger and better things. Their vans are looking sensational. Oh. I like this little van, it'll sleep a couple of people on the inside, you've got a rooftop tent, probably a slide out kitchen around on the other side. What more do you need? So blah blah blah, or are we just blah blah? Yeah, just blah blah. Just do you reckon if people were lip reading at home they'd be going like blah blah? blah, blah. Do you reckon they'd be able yeah, to probably. understand what we're saying? It's so exciting here. And thank you so much for lip reading because um oh, are, are we actually our... I can you rolling? <laughs> I can never come to the Victoria Super Show without catching up with my old mate Adele from Caravanning with Kids. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, Maxie. Excellent. How are you? Yeah, really good. It's great to see you. How's the stand yep. going? Day one of the show. Day one. Uh, we got smashed this morning. As soon as the gates opened, they were all flying in. They all knew exactly what they wanted to look for. Yeah. I think everyone was excited to be out and obviously at a caravan show. So yeah, it was awesome to see so many people this morning straight off the straight off the gate. It's going to be a big one. Everyone loves Caravanning with Kids. Yes, they do. Well, most of them. <laughs> the nomads, maybe not so much. <laughs> Everyone loves caravanning with kids. They sure do. Oh, I don't know. How did you want to end that? <laughs> I got it. They sure do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Great deal. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a huge show. Everyone loves caravanning with kids. They sure do. And if they check us out, stand 227. Um, we've got huge show specials. And also you can scan to enter and win huge prizes. So, yeah, come on. Hey, hey Adele. Sorry. It's Irene, she's the uh, sales manager for Go RV, and it looks like she might have a little friend with her. Hello, good morning. Oh, hey. how, how are you? Good to see you. And how appropriate, caravanning with kids and we have a baby. <gasps> yes. Little so Mia. what have you got for kids, Adele? Well, the travel journal, even though she's only a baby, you should be starting that now for all your traveling adventures. Write down what's going on, and then when she learns to read, she's gonna read all the stories about your adventures. So, oh, that sounds our good. travel journals from birth, and then it's just meant to be. Nice. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> ah. This is probably one of your most popular products. This is the it? original product. Yeah. So this was where it all started back in 2015 when we designed the travel journal. These are made in Shepparton, uh, so Australian made. And then you've got 92 journal pages. So for the grown-ups, you would write in every line for Mia. And then when she gets old enough, she'll be able to learn how to read and she'll be able to read yeah. them through. So we wrote them as um, storybooks. So we would say, today we went to the zoo and all those sort yeah. of things. So it made oh, it easy I like to read. Yes. yes. So you need to do that with Mia. Let's get one for you. <laughs> you love I think I can use these a bit more. <laughs> the dream, well, you won't have to carry any other cleaning chemicals in your van. So that will replace everything. It does your laundry. It will clean up all of her spills when she throws up on you. safe for delicacy. They are. They're 100% natural. They're biodegradable and compostable as well. Wow. Perfect. I know, they're incredible. I'll get one of these. So that's all you need yeah. to take. So no cleaning chemicals. So that you put half a sheet of that in some warm soapy water and that will clean your van, your car, oh, really? cleans your bathrooms, and then you throw it in your washing machine and it does your washing as well. Dreamly, laundry sheets. We I are... might grab some myself while oh. I'm here. How about I give you some samples oh, and awesome. you can test them at home? What a great idea, yeah. thank you. Yep, travel packs. Sorted. Okay, so here's a couple of people you might recognise. Bruce and Mark Gow, who uh, have the Facebook page Baby Boomers on the Road. Uh, where are you travel to lately? Uh, we had a month just a little while ago in South Australia with some very good friends from Brisbane. Over on the Air Peninsula, which is oh, just beautiful. superb. Beautiful. Just superb. Fishing was pretty good. Yeah. Fishing was pretty good. Whiting and Tommy Ruff and, you know, the general run-of-the-mill stuff. Yeah, yeah, a few crabs. Ate a few oysters, you know, as, yeah. you, as you do on yeah, the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making me a little bit jealous. Yes. I'd love to get back to the Air Peninsula. Yeah. I just love it there. And uh, how are you enjoying the show so far? Yes, very, great. Yeah, really good. Yes, good, it's good to see the crowds back. Good to see the, good to see the fact that we've got a show again. Isn't it just yeah, nice to be back at the Melbourne showground? Oh, it is. It's brilliant. Yeah, it brilliant. Is, yeah, lots yeah. of new displays, lots of interesting stuff to see. What do you guys think of this Airstream? Isn't oh, it amazing? Just, just delightful. They've always They're been beautiful that classic, little vehicle. That classic look, haven't they? They're intriguing. I love it. Yeah, hope you enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's just so good Great to see you guys see again. Oh, my Great goodness. Great to see you. <laughs> 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 this is, this is my, um, my COVID mask, and it's um, yeah. it's got the caravan models all yeah. over it. And um, my sister made it for me, so we wear these whenever we can. So here's the Easy Trail stand, and I'll tell you what, Easy Trail is a company that has just gone from strength to strength, and when you look at their vans, it's easy to see why. So let's go have a look. 
It's Dean Porter from Easy Trail. Dean, the stand is looking great. And, uh, mate, you know I'm a fan of the Easy Trail Wintons, but I didn't know you had a Winton 10. Really intrigued. Yes, this little guy's, uh, we've had it in the, in, the, in the range for about two years now, and we just can't keep up with it. She absolutely marches out the door. Yep. This thing can be towed by a, a little car, so a little SUV, yep. a, 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 a Mazda MX-3 or something like that, and away you, away you go for the weekend. It's got everything in it. We've got a little ensuite inside, so a little privacy in there. Uh, the lounge converts into a bed. Right, so because you, you're stuck with space. Yep. So, but most people, when they want to want to go outside and camp, they they'll sit outside to eat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they 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 live outside, so they go inside. They've got a few creature comforts. They've got somewhere to sleep. He's had a little corner bathroom as that well. That is right, mate. As I said, a little shower and ensuite. Yeah. Cool. We've got a little uh, little uh, single burner in here. There's a fridge, small fridge in here. So it's ready. To, everything ready to go. Ripper. Ripper. You just got to grab the dog, hitch it up. Off you go. Good on you, Dean. Good luck with the rest of the show, mate. Site number 224. Come down. We're here all weekend. Now, jaco has been building the Swift Camper trailer for many, many years, but I've always really liked it. I think it's just a good little unit for a small family. I've always liked them. It's a single bed at the front. It's a double bed at the back. As I said, this is a unit for a small family but they're small, they're compact, they're easy to tow, and I think that's why I like them. I love a good motorhome, and I'm always intrigued by the Jayco units. This is the optimum. I mean, I'm never gonna be able to afford it, but a guy can dream. If you've ever been at the helm of one of these things, you will know how comfortable the Iveco base vehicle is for a motorhome such as this. Um, really comfortable, really nice and smooth. They're just comfortable, they're smooth to drive. I want it, I want it, I want it. I want it. It's the Grand Pavilion, and appropriately, Nova Caravans is inside, always worth checking out. Not too long ago, Nova came up with the Little Terror. This is a compact version of their well-known off-road of the Terra Sports. I really want to check this one out. So that's the Terra Sports. That's Nova's main off-road caravan. That's been uh, on the market since about 2009, 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a really popular van for Nova, but I'm here to check out the little Terra. Okay, let's step inside. It's got uh, quite a lot of ground clearance by the looks. What I immediately notice is how much space is saved by having this east-west bed in the nose of the caravan. We do have a full width bathroom in the rear. There's a toilet, there's a shower on the near side. Of course, you've got this, you know, two or three seater lounge on the off side as well. So obviously it's a compact caravan, nice and compact with everything that you still need. And when it comes to off-road caravanning, I reckon that's what it's all about. There's always something to see at the Nova stand and I'm glad I stopped because this is one interesting caravan. As always, we have the Dometic stand here in the Grand Pavilion. I mean, it's looking great. Absolutely. And of course, Thetford, they're well known for their displays at the Victorian Super Show. So look, if you need a portable toilet or you want to check out the latest fridges for your caravan, this is the place to come. Now, if you're at the Super Show, it's definitely worth stopping by Elko. If you don't know about Tow Assist, come and ask the guys because it's a comprehensive towing safety package for your caravan. Definitely worth checking out. You can't go past Retreat Caravan, so let's have a look. I mean, it's just beautiful. The Daydream. Two 210 watt solar panels as standard. I mean, that's a lot of solar, right? 110 litre grey water tank. Sounds like this caravan set up for free camping. So this is the Retreat ERV. Look, it's basically Australia's first all electric caravan. And that's thanks to the uh, lithium battery system that was designed and developed by Ausex Corp. Now on this caravan, it's a 14.3 kilowatt hour lithium battery. And that's gonna be stored underneath the caravan as part of the chassis. Um, now to go with it, to a 2,400 watt solar panel system, but that's going to depend on the size of the caravan. 
And what that means is that effectively this caravan doesn't require any gas. It's an electric induction cooktop on the inside. You've got an external electric barbecue. Everything that all the power needs of this caravan are taken care of by that massive battery system. Hard to believe, but this barbecue is powered by an onboard battery. So Australia's first gasless caravan, and it's all thanks to that Ausex Corp battery. And of course, some great design work by Retreat. And why not come and check out the JB stands? Just look for the giant scorpion. Timber. We're doing this, which is poly resin, so it's like recycled Australian material. So, so that's oh, okay, that's not timber. It looks like timber. It is, but it's not. Yeah, so it's all recycled. We've got XPS foam, so that's insulation. So JB Caravans, um, they can build their caravans with a kind of like a poly resin um, framing material. It looks like timber, as you can see, but it's not. They've got this special XPS foam insulation. And I guess the idea uh, behind this um, framing setup is it's gonna make the caravan strong and also light in plating. So it looks quite traditional, but there's a little bit of science behind the way this caravan's built. And then the roof of the caravan uh, is framed in this extruded aluminium. So again, strong and lightweight. It's really different. I don't know if there's any other caravan manufacturers that are doing this, um, but I do like the fact that uh, JB is employing a little bit of innovation here. Instead of going for just the standard Maranti timber uh, framing material or the aluminium or whatever, and it's a strong honeycomb floor as well. So gone are the days of a 12 mil marine grade ply. This is technology. And of course, without timber, there's no chance of rot. Familiar face, Joe Glavick. Joe, how are you? I'm oh, pretty excited to be here. What are you doing here at the show, mate? Tell us all about Out There Internet. Well, our solution is very different to what's out there at the moment. So we're unique in what we do. We've got industrial grade router. We're broadcasting Wi-Fi far beyond people's imaginations. And we're getting signals in, in areas where there's no phone or little or no phone reception at all. So this is for caravanners and motorhome travellers, whoever, they're out there they're in the back of beyond. They want to get internet coverage so they can work or stream content. This is the solution, isn't it? Because you, you guys are able to provide coverage in areas where you just wouldn't expect it. Proof is in the pudding. So to make a claim that it works everywhere, it's a pretty big claim to make. But what we've got is real life road testers actually doing the homeschooling, running their online businesses, from their caravans and they're traveling around successfully doing their day-to-day -day jobs. Okay, so what's one area in Australia where this product worked that was really surprising to you? Well, it still gives me goosebumps, but they're probably coming up now. <laughs> um, Sharinga Beach in South Australia, we've actually had a couple that traveled out there, they pulled up at night, no phone service at all, had no idea whether the tide was in or out, and they fired up our system and they had a 30 meg download in an area that's SOS, saw the tides were already in, so that was safe to stay there. Wow, so they were getting 30 megabyte download speed in areas where their phone was only getting SOS coverage. That's correct. That's incredible, Joe. It's, it's almost uh, unbelievable, but it's proven we plot on our map, so we deal with real life data. We get data results from travelers when we, they send and interact with us through our app and we'll plot them on the map so people are not blind when they're traveling out there. Uh, right. So this is what they actually use, is this kid here. So that's got the inverter, how's the inverter? It's got a remote power switch. So on the side here we've got remote power switch, and this is where we put the uh, data outlet. So that goes straight to your antenna. Ah, gotcha, and it's a little portable carry around pack. Correct. So That's and incredible. So all you need on the other side is an Anderson plug or a battery source. So the battery source, whether it's from a car, mm -hmm. from a mobile um, portable bo uh, battery box, we'll plug into there, it'll fire up the inverter, yeah, and yeah. power the access point, yep. and the antenna. That is so clever. And it, it's really, I mean, you've got the inverter built in, yep. you've got the power source in there. Correct. Plug plug it straight to a battery um, by the Anderson plug, yep. or whatever, away you go, you've got your internet. That's so this product will be coming out shortly, this is the first time we've sort of revealed it, um, the products, and I it's been it. successful, it's been tested on, on 2000 Ks of dirt road. Yeah, that's perfect because you don't need to have a caravan, this four wheel drivers can use it. Correct, yeah. yeah. So the way the brackets were designed, you'll see that the way they sleep in the video shows it, it supports different types of chassis. Yep. So you can go to the rear bar, the drawer bar, the caravan or trailer. Worst case scenario, you can strap it to a tree or something. We did see one um, one client decided to, he actually had a um, zone pole, which wasn't yeah. strong enough. And he wanted to get a bit higher, so he got up and um, I can strap it to a tree. <laughs> Guys, if you are in need of a 
portable internet solution for your travels around the country. Maybe you're homeschooling your kids on the road. You have to check out Out There Internet. Come down and see Joe, because this is a real innovation. What a great day, the Victorian Caravan Camping and Touring Super Show. It's always a lot of fun, and it's been fantastic to see it back here at the Melbourne Showgrounds, where it belongs. So make sure you come on down. There's a lot to see, and it's on until Sunday the 10th of April. I'm going to hit the road. I think I might take the Hume Highway.